Um, well, I lived in Liverpool, in Wavertray, the district of Wavertray, and I remember the noise of the bombs. And my mother used to say, there's a man building a house, but he's not using any cement. And every now and again, he pushes the walls over, and that noise you can hear are the bricks tumbling down. So I remember that story. I also remember my little red suit, a siren suit, that my mother used to put me in and carry me to a, an air raid shelter in the nearby side street, because we lived on the main road. I'd just turned two, but I was uh, nearly eight by the time it really finished. So I have, probably I was about four, five, six, something like that. Those are my memories from there. I remember the rationing. My mother used to give her uh, bacon coupons to a nearby neighbour who in return would give my mother coupons for uh, margarine and butter because my mother was a great baker. So I remember her telling me that story. Um, she'd do swaps with them and anything to get a bit of extra sugar. I remember that as well. And there were lots of, there was the general feeling that there was something happening. I remember there were panics in the family when there'd been particular um, problems and the bombing and everything in different parts of the world because her, her brother was in the army, her nephew was in the army. So we were always you know, wondering how everybody was. I suppose that kind of fear within a family or distress would have an impact whereby as young as you were, it would... Feel you, it. Feel it, yeah. Because you knew these people and I remember the night of the Big Blitz don't ask me the date. I just remember that my grandma had a fatal heart attack that night and how they got to her and found that she'd passed away. My mother's mother. That was during the big, the night of the big blitz, I remember that was. Anything Pro else? Yeah, probably last question. Do you have any um, memories of any um, uh, family that may have served in the forces at all? Um, yes, I have yeah. a cousin. He was only 26 when he died. He wasn't killed um, on a sortie of any kind, but he wouldn't eat non-kosher food. And he became very, very ill. And he died. Like a nutrition? Yes. It was called consumption in those days. So what that meant, I don't consumption know. Consumption was TB. Well, that's it then. But he wouldn't eat the food they were giving him. And he died. <laughs>